Welcome to the Sex, Money, and Real Estate Podcast, the show for real estate couples about how to close more deals in the bedroom. My name is Nancy Jamison. And I'm Bill Jamison. And each week we deep dive into juicy, intentional, sexy conversations, sharing with you what it takes to create balance in your intimate relationships and your real estate business. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> hey baby hi 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 who's on first <laughs> what's going on oh only giggles over here nice. my love awesome. how are you i'm doing well thank you oh, i'm doing well funny. we need like a call sign like hey like maverick has a call sign in top gun Absolutely. or that is his call sign yes oh. maverick is his call they, sign. are they ever going to release that movie oh my gosh i hope so well that was going to be the movie that we were going to have um, a client appreciation party around. You're right, and, right. And then we were like, oh, COVID. <laughs> so yeah, the brakes hit and we came to a screeching halt on those. Uh, I would love to see that movie with everybody. Whew. Anywho, hi. Hi. <laughs> welcome, uh, welcome back to our podcast, Nancy. Yes. Thank it, you, Bill. <laughs> if you didn't know, you are live on Sex, Money, and Real Estate. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much for being here. I am Nancy Jamison. And I'm Bill Jamison. Yes. And so on Sex, Money, and Real Estate Podcast, we love sharing with you inspirations and uh, really inspirations, tools, resources on how to create super sexy, juicy, intimate relationships, just like you have a super successful real estate business. We believe that you can have both. It's not an either or. You don't have to have one without the other. You can have both. Yeah. So your real estate business can be as sexy and juicy as your uh, personal life, right? For sure. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, and yes. And then we love sharing with you breakdown and breakthrough stories too. So we're gonna uh, we're we're we've got this whole host of people scheduled to um, come and share their breakdown and breakthrough stories with you, just like we've shared ours. So hopefully. You know, you'll you'll experience more added value and receive more value from the SMRE community, and um, and of course keep those comments coming, keep the suggestions coming, and the feedback coming. We love hearing from you. So yeah, thank absolutely. You. And you know, the thing is that if you feel like you've received value from uh, the Sex Money and Real Estate podcast or our community or the Facebook group or anything else that we've done out there, um, and you're inspired to give back to support the show. Yes. We graciously receive your gift. Yeah, we sure do. Absolutely. I mean, so. you know, we utilize the energy and we multiply it by investing back in the show. Yep. Um, you know, in the space and the community and, you know, to bring more of this jam content. Yes. Joyous, abundant, mature content. Again, you know, to be the resource for you. So. Yep. So if you are inspired so that we can help uh, to contribute back to the show, then go to Venmo and uh, type in at J-A-M, Jam Coaching, all one word, yes. at Jam Coaching. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes. All right. Well, on to magic. Magic. What you, is magic? You mean that thing that we do to uh, identify those magical moments in our life that are, are empowering, that have influenced us? Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you rewind, <laughs> beep, 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 start again, play. Magic are, Magic is those uh, those inspiring moments where you have uh, influenced life or yourself or others in an empowering way. Yes. And uh, we have, you know, the thing about identifying magic is that when you identify you know, a piece here or there, whether it's, you know, the, the flower growing ran randomly in your backyard or the lights turning green while you're going down the street, that once you identify that uh, that one piece of magic, more magic inevitably shows up in your mm -hmm. life. Yep. Once so. you focus on expands. Yes. For sure. So what's your magic tonight let's or today? Let's talk about it. So my magic this past for this past week that I wanted to talk a little bit about was the Priestess Oracle Card Workshop I Ooh. attended on Saturday. And so it, it the the whole workshop it, it was ladies and the whole workshop is designed around to cultivate foster nurture nourish hone in and develop your intuition and like what does that mean like what does your intuition mean to you what is um how can i experience the downloads how can i experience um 
you know, connecting with spirit and source and, and listening to those messages. Maybe they're coming from my body or maybe they're coming from uh, somebody else or, you know, just developing those extra sensory perceptions, if you will, that that extra intuition so that I can be a conduit for the information. Mm. So it looks like me hearing those signals or messages and empowering my life or hearing a signal and a message that maybe assists Lucas and you know, something or assist you or assist, assist the people that we coach or assist obviously our businesses or our listeners or download podcast episodes or, or any of those things. So it was a beautiful workshop. There were seven women. We spent all day Saturday. We worked on uh, and with this gorgeous deck of uh, priestess oracle cards, just really beautiful sharing, uh, authenticity, transparency, and what is incredibly magic within all of that is that I did this with my mom. Ooh. And so my mom is 71, almost 72. And she is a spitfire, mm -hmm. badass, yeah. strong, uh, dynamic woman who, you know, she's my mom. And, <laughs> and I just, and I love her and I adore her. And, and, you know, the, the way that she approaches life and she just is constantly looking at, at those things and, and different ways to empower herself and better herself. And so to spend, you know, all day Saturday with her in this workshop, uh, it's just, it's just incredibly inspiring. And th then to hear like the level of sharing that she was, that she was um, interested in. I mean, she was bold, she was honest, she came with it and she just really stepped into that, that, that queen space, that priestess mm -hmm. space. So I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, she continues to inspire me and um, it was just a bit really big uh, deposit in my emotional bank account. So it was beautiful. I'm complete. Awesome. She's an amazing lady for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I've only, I've only been hanging out with her like 24 years now. So, oh. you know, is that all? <laughs> that's it, <laughs> you know, not, not quite, but, uh, you have, but you know, I mean, one of the, one of the, her greatest attributes is her willingness to, to open up and, uh, find new ways to, to heal herself and, um, you know, ultimately heal others at the same time. Mm -hmm. So beautiful, beautiful surrender for yeah. sure. Yeah. She's she's the source. Yes, she is the source. Cool, cool. So awesome. my magic yes. is uh, while you were at that uh, that priestess, what'd you call it? Priestess? Oracle, Oracle card workshop. That is a tongue it, twister. It's a bit of a mouthful. Yes, <laughs> we need an acronym for that. So there is a um, <laughs> there is a no. It doesn't work. I'm no, looking at it. I'm like P O no. C W, no. While you were at that workshop, <laughs> I I had the opportunity to hang out with um, both of our sons mm -hmm. uh, on Saturday, and we had a ball. Mm -hmm. You know, we hadn't had a chance to hang out just the three of us like that in a while, and we just goofed off. You know, we goofed off. We hung out. Luke and I went and and ran uh, the four mile, did our four mile fun run, and uh, when we got back here, hung out with the boys for a little bit, and then we drove go karts and played <laughs> putt putt and video games and. Ate ice cream and and then we ski found ball and um, oh yeah played ski ball and uh, at the end of the day you know we're trying to figure out we're like okay we're hungry we want to do something and we didn't want to do anything that we've done before necessarily mm -hmm. and uh, you know we we collectively came up with uh, finding the best the best ramen <laughs> shop in Atlanta how good was it it was so freaking good mm -hmm. that. <laughs> We went back again with you the next <laughs> night. <laughs> Woo, ramen yeah. overload. Yeah, it was S delicious. It is so good. Well, the boys want to go there tonight, too. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> no, they're like, please. <laughs> they're hysterical. <laughs> you know, daddy's in his accountability group. Can we Can we go there again tonight? That is funny. Uh-huh. I'm like, ah, uh, maybe. Uh, me, yeah, no. No. Yeah, no, it was it was delicious, and I appreciate you sharing all of that with me. So yeah. thank you. Yeah, good times, and you mm -hmm. know, and well, you know that what was really cool about us going out was hearing them recant uh, us going out. Mm -hmm. You know, because you know this this their enthusiasm about going out and hanging out was was mm -hmm. cool too. I yeah. enjoyed that. Yeah, definitely filled my heart up. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. I love it. Okay, well, so here we are. Yes. What is this episode about? Oh man, 
there's so many possibilities what this pill could be about. But mm -hmm. well, it's definitely a long time coming. We have decided to enter a whole new world. A whole new world. We've always wanted to do this. It's scary. It's unknown. And yet exhilarating all at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's true. There's definitely a lot riding on it. We've dibbled and we've dabbled. There's a lot of risk. Mm -hmm. And it actually could break us. Is that enough? For the tissues. I think I need a tissue. Yeah. And yeah, we're going for it. <laughs> okay, cue the Rocky theme. I know. Hey, yeah, I'm the tiger baby. All right, so what what world have we decided to enter? I, I, I don't even I don't even know, Nance. What world is this? <laughs> I don't even wanna We've <laughs> Oh my gosh. We've decided to enter the world of renovations. You know, isn't that with funny? Our, after all first, this time, with our first jam vestment, our, I, I think it is kind of funny, actually. Like, how many times we've bought and sold properties, or done the research, or done the comps, or sat in you know foreclosed properties with copper ripped out of the walls and no AC, all, and yeah. I mean, like all the things that we've seen. And we've we've invested in in right, you know, where we're kind of hands off from it. But yeah, we're actually like. Up to our elbows in this one. Which is exciting. <laughs> like literally. <laughs> like it's just so much fun. Mm -hmm. I know. So we're we're super excited. We uh we've we've definitely we've decided to take on our first uh property flip and um and it's and it's very exciting. <laughs> I mean, I can't even tell you how many times we've said that it's very exciting. I can tell you that excited is is um used way too many times. So I'm just gonna apologize ahead That's for funny. you know, dropping that word fifty times and yet it's exciting. Totally. So. And amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cool. Amazing, too. That's well, funny. you know, the thing is, too, is it's not like, I mean, we made some very conscious decisions to uh, to get into this, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, before pulling the trigger on mm -hmm. it, for sure. And, yes. I mean, we make a lot of conscious decisions anyway, right? When mm -hmm. I mean, we're in a very conscious marriage and we have very conscious conversations with our kids and very conscious conversations with our coaching clients and, and uh, you know, always always looking to um, adjust and renew and anew and heal and all that kind of stuff through having the conversations. And, mm -hmm. and, and yet this, and this, and this, this project is exactly the same, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And, and so what the, the process of deciding whether or not we were going into the flip created this sense of, oh, wow, like we go through this process, whether it's to start a new business to take on a coaching client, to um, um, to and you know do the flip or really like any project. I mean, I feel like we had that conversation when we were gonna when we were talking about whether or not we were gonna have any more kids. It's like, okay, how is this decision overall going to impact us? Right. And then, so if that's the overlaying question, there's there's a series of questions that we went through. And so we wanted to share those with you in real time because we literally just went through we that's this is what we've been doing the last I guess it's been about a month now. It's 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 like yeah, it's like we have been doing this for a month now and going through I mean, you know, when we when we talk about friends and family and and taking on business partners and things like that, one of the biggest things we talk about is like the character process. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, and uh, is the person or project in alignment with what we're playing for? Mm -hmm. And this like our yeah, our vision, our our mission statements, our um, our environment. Yeah, our, like like is it is it in a is it a match to what we're playing for? Mm -hmm. um, that is really like the first and foremost. Like, is it in alignment with again yeah, where the, we're going, our yeah. purpose, if you will, not to get too. Um, um, altruistic, but it is it again. It, it's important to us that uh, it obviously aligns because if it doesn't align and it takes us way out, you know, now we're at we're in that um, shiny object syndrome area. Absolutely, you know? and you know, if it's not empowering, then it's going to be heavy, right? Mm -hmm. And it's going to weigh on us energetically, mm -hmm. and uh, we know that there's a ripple effect to that. Mm -hmm. You know, to how you and I get along, how we get along with our kids. How we how we interact with the rest of our business and and friends and family and clients. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we know that you know <laughs> through our experience that there is always a ripple effect, you know, or a consequence to our decisions. Yeah. So 
you know, again, if, if we're thinking about this from asking the question, how does adding this new thing, this thing being business, um, like an actual business, you know, like we went through this process with the podcast, Mm -hmm. how does adding this new thing, business coaching client, new project impact our health? And then again, if we're in business with people that, or the project aligns with us, that's definitely, um, step one. Awesome. 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 So again, you know, do we, do we have the margin to, to take on this project? Mm -hmm. And ultimately we decided we did. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. So what's the scope of the project? You know, like what's the, if you were to like go through and cast the vision and the goals um, or the objectives, you know, you got to look at the project, like, is it going to be long-term or short-term? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and again, beginning with the end in mind, you know, create the budget, the timelines and the profit margin. Mm-hmm. Um, what else did we do to get ready for this project? Well, we asked what is not a part of the project scope. Like right. what are things like we don't need to be concerned about you know, like ancillary things associated with it. So let's, in other words, let's keep our eye on the ball. Let's, Mm -hmm. let's maintain the one thing. We don't need to be concerned about the, the exterior tertiary things, you know, Mm -hmm. the big, another big one for me was who do we need to talk to, to assist us in making an informed decision about this. And again, as it related to the, the flipping the property, we talked to a lot of people, we did. Um, in our case, we talked with the seller of the property and we talked with our attorney and making sure that we had all of the legal ducks in the row. We talked with hard money lenders. Uh, do we utilize our own personal cash? Do we lend on it? Do we get, you know, do we use, um, um, do we pull stuff out of uh, our different investment accounts or do we use hard money lenders? And then what kind of hard money do we do? Do we do right. like an actual investment loan or do we utilize literally like private money? Mm-hmm. Um, we talked with a couple of different general contractors and you know brought them over there and said, okay, this is the property. What do you think about this? And uh, got budgets and estimates and cost analyses <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. And, Go ahead. and then, you know, drill down to make sure that it was all, and again, in alignment, not only with us, but then, you know, when we got different bids, that they were in alignment with each other and where there were discrepancies, we knew that was a place to take a look at. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, and that, that is something too. And then of course we're talking with each other during, mm-hmm. during this process. And even just the, those conversations, having those conversations with each other, even if we decided not to do the flip allowed us to explore how the weight of a $25,000 renovation or a $35,000 renovation or a $45,000 renovation, like the weight of that Mm -hmm. impacted um, our health or impacted our being, impacted our schedule, impacted our bandwidth, our margin, like you talked about before. And that's what I appreciate about just the, 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 just having the opportunity to have those conversations, you know, because like I learned about you and I learned about us. And then I also learned about what, you know, an eight inch spread is on a three hold faucet. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even know if I'm saying that correct because it's still, it's like, you know, just like the renovation language, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like the builder language of it. So well, what I appreciate about, you know, us taking this on is that, you know, we had the conversation around, you know, whose lane is it going to be in? You know, like we're both, we're both part of the project, mm-hmm. right? But really you're heading the project yeah, because you had the bandwidth to, yeah. to take the project on. Yep. And yep. that left room for me to do other things that I do in our business so mm-hmm. that, you know, we're in our lane. And of course, we're still a team on this thing, yeah. yet at the same time. You know, we we talked about who had the bandwidth to take the project on so that it was a, a success. Yeah, right. So, yes. So I'm, you know, I have the ability to lead this particular project in this in this scenario and and everything else is still taken care of. You know, like mm-hmm. we're still taking care of all of our spring business. We just added on um, uh, a new member who we are announcing next week. So make sure you turn, tune in to uh, next week's podcast episode. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> yeah, because she's, she's a spitfire, y'all. And um, 
so, you know, and you're taking on training, uh, our new partner and everything. So yeah, it was the, the division of function is very important. Yes. The, um, the setting expectation. I mean, that's really part of setting expectations is, is who's leading it and what are those responsibilities? Like what are the agreements set in place? And again, we had that conversation before we even pulled the trigger. Yep. But back to the resources um, and who we talked to, you oh, know, okay. like who was our who was our board of directors? Yeah. We talked to our accountability groups. Yep. You know, like we each are in an accountability group and lead an accountability group called the Circle of Influence that we meet with every week. And, you know, I know, I mean, I brought it to them and I know, and then we brought it uh, to our business mastermind just to bounce off of them and make sure that they didn't see any blind spots or think that we were you know, just giving us feedback and, and um, a thought you know, authentically sharing about where we were in that process. So that was cool. Uh, and then we talked to the kids. Yeah, that's you know, true. We made sure that that um, they were aware of it, that they're included in it. Yes. It was very important for us, for them to be a part of it. Um, we took them, we demoed uh, uh, a couple of days ago, we, we started the demo and we took them with us to do the demo of course it is amazingly fun and awesome to smash walls with sledgehammers and and, <laughs> and mallets smash. and yeah and and do axe throwing against the sheetrock with hammers right. and whatnot right. that was very fun and yet it was it's really important because they see the value in you know the sweat equity and mm -hmm. uh what we do obviously it, again it's sweat equity we don't necessarily yeah. have to pay for right and then you know, Rex expressed how awesome it was to be able to learn these different things about sheetrock and countertops and joists and, and yeah, just ex all the things. Yeah. Exposed to things that he wouldn't have normally been exposed to, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, how far, you know, the joists are from one another or, you know, just a, you know, it's kind of like opening up an engine on a car, you know, you don't really know how it all works until you get in there and, mm -hmm. and take a look at it. And so, uh, he got this look at the innards of a house. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. it was cool. Him and, yep. him and Lucas. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was really great. Great. And then I guess lastly, we talked with our accountant before um, before signing on officially with this. Just to, you know, what are the, what are the tax implications? What are, where do, where do these things go? Do we need to form a new LLC? Do we not? Do we, you know, how does this land on our P&L? Is it a different category? Like all those different questions. So it was really cool. We definitely um, had a lot of conversations for sure. Yep. And, you know, at, at the end of the day, you know, we know we, we weighed, we weighed the risk against, you know, the win and, um, you know, we got challenged a little bit with, well, I'll say, I, I'll make it an I statement. I got challenged a little bit with some limiting beliefs around, you know, the abundance of it and being able to, to make it all happen. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm so glad that we set intentions and we had those conversations so that, <laughs> you know, I can move through those. I mean, cause I mean, it comes up, right? I mean, money, sex and religion, I mean, they'll expose, they'll expose all that. I mean, you know, it, it can expose a lot of limiting beliefs around, around those things. Mm -hmm. So it was just another example of where a new circumstance came up where we got to have a conversation around it and, and move through it. So mm -hmm. totally beautiful. Well, I'm glad that you surrendered and, and moved through it because it, it's a fantastic opportunity. I know. We're so excited about it. <laughs> excited. <laughs> excited and amazed. Yes. Uh, let's see. What else did we do? Well, you know, and then the schedule. So, you right. know, this, this does play into like who's responsible for what, how does it impact the schedule? What's the longevity of the project? Mm -hmm. And I feel like since this is in a self-contained unit, you know, it's a smaller property, it's a condominium, it's, uh, there's no exterior stuff that we have to do. And it's like the perfect first flip. So we get, we get our feet wet, we get our, um, we get to sink our teeth into something that's really cool. And then we're in and out, you yep. know, inside of a month. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously we'll list it and sell it in like 30 seconds. So it'll be great. It'll be really great. Uh, and then lastly, along the lines of setting expectations, it was really important to set up a communication plan. Yeah. Um, how often am I talking with our GC? Am I meeting him? Is he meeting us? Like we're going to go pick out tile and flooring and granite and carpet. And he's getting, he's going with us, which is fantastic. And, uh, so he's been really hands-on and, um, you know, just overall, like how often are we meeting? And it's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, you know, I, I really don't, 
have any complaints. I, I think the that and that goes back to the character process mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning that we talked about is that you know we live life um, with our contractor and you know we're we're very like he's a he's a client he's a real estate investor with us and he has a construction company and so like we've been in um, you know a working relationship with him for years so mm -hmm. we have an understanding of his integrity and who he is and and all of those things so that definitely plays very well into this but uh but yeah yeah it's, i mean it's all it's all amazing and i think the last thing i want to add in is that you know it, it got to highlight you know our um yours and my um ability to flow you know with each other and schedule and stuff like that you know you have some things you need to do this morning and this morning was normally the day that you would have taken the kids to school yep and yet you know, I saw the opportunity to, you know, to balance that out. So I took the kids to school yeah. so that you could, you know, work on a couple things. Yeah. You know, so it's it was beautiful. Great. It was great. Mm. Any final thoughts? Um, yeah. Follow us on Instagram. We're going to have pictures up. Um, you want to follow somewhere else? No, you can follow on Instagram. Follow on Instagram because we're going to we're going to have some pictures up of the flip and what we're doing. Follow us uh, at Sex Money and Real Estate. Uh, follow us at jamesonandcompany.com and Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere else? We're, we're, yeah, we're everywhere, guys. All you need to do is Google us if you can't find us. <laughs> awesome. And we'll, uh, we'll definitely tell the story for sure. Yes. So I am curious about, uh, I'm curious about if you have had any, um, any stories i'd love to hear your stories around your oh. your flips and your mm -hmm. renovations and you know just all the things that you've run into doing your investments that would be great and of course if you want to um apply to be a guest on the podcast we would love to have you go to jameson and company.com forward slash podcasts there's uh, a link to click to be uh, an applicant for an interview get a spot or if you wanted to submit your breakdown to breakthrough story, you know, we love sharing those stories. They're so incredibly inspiring with um, the SMREA community. And, um, you know, you can be a guest on the show to, to share that breakdown to breakthrough story as well. So we'd Beautiful. love to have you. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's what I got, baby. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, thank you all for tuning in. And we will see you on the flip side. Bye. Bye. <laughs>